we have Chuck against Super Semi. Yeah, indeed. I've actually seen this matchup a few times, and both of these players are players that play a very high pass game. They both actually oh, play the game. They both like to move around a lot, go for aggressive options and punishes, and then extend their punish game as much as mm -hmm. possible. In general, in this matchup, you will see that Ninja is a character that will go more of a defensive route because he can throw shurikens at uh -huh. Mario. Um, Mario will approach, has less range than Greninja, for example, if Greninja has an awesome four there. Mm -hmm. Space and wow. I didn't say <laughs> anything and he already <laughs> four smashed Chuck there. Yeah, because uh, Super Semi uh, might have taken you know, Dutch Comic Con uh, two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that set versus uh, anti reflex, I've never seen him play on that level. That yeah. was insane. Reads upon reads upon crazy confirms. You know, I just told these two p players, uh, actually, I said, you guys are the young folks, you know, you're mm -hmm. beating people up. Yeah. They aren't even 20 years old yet. Mm -hmm. And here we are, all these 20 plus people losing. 33, uh, it's uh, the, the turn he is. Oh, oh you mean uh, the, the, the people the being 20 plus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ages, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know, look at Smash around the world. Uh, MKLeo is 15, yeah, Captain yeah. Zack is 15 as well. We have a lot of uh, young people, uh, very talented players. Yep. And, you know, we have those veterans, but it's just raw talent and it's a new game. The new age is coming. <laughs> the new age the of new uh, age Smash, is yeah. Right here we see Chuck on the ledge. So Smash 5 will be dominated by 12 year olds. <laughs> We see that Super Sammy is actually do putting a lot of pressure right there on the ledge, forcing Chuck to choose options that he can punish and react to. And from there, again, the ledge from gets the ne neutral on the landing. Ooh, the roll. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the reads of reads, man. Yep, gets the back throw. And the reaction on the punishes from Super Sammy is so good right here. The up smash on the regular getup. Wow. Dude, that, that was almost two minutes, but it felt like it was over within a minute. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, just fast just play. by how explosive uh, Super Sammy was playing. Yep, and you know what I like about Super Sammy, and you see this in general with these younger younger players, because whenever you get older, your reaction speed gets slower. Yeah. So younger people have the advantage that they have a faster reaction. Pace yeah. Compared to a speed. Compared so to, to me, that's always player. a bit of a John. You know, oh, you're younger, you have a better reaction speed. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not a it's continue. A yeah, I, I know, I know it's fact, but uh, <laughs> go on, continue your story. And in this game, I feel, especially for punishes, reaction speed is so important to get your punishes right. Because punishes in this game are huge. So if you miss a punish or miss punish a situation, yeah. instead you take a lot of damage or your opponent goes up free and it's like, oh, I can do this without getting punished. That's no pressure. Yeah, and yeah, I see that, especially coming from you know something like melee. It's uh, the, the the options you have at the ledge are uh, a bit more limited than what you here have. You know, uh, yeah. since you have ledge trumps, it's not just you know grab the ledge and the oppo uh, opponent can't grab it anymore. Yep. You have uh, air dodges which you can spam to your heart's content. So there are a lot of uh, more ways of getting away. Sometimes if, uh, even a bit creative. Yeah. So uh, I do get what you're seeing. Uh, I, I do see what you're what you're getting at with yeah. uh, having that needing that uh, reaction time. Yeah, because it allows you to react to certain situations like ledge get up options, for example, way faster. And you can develop that by understanding situations, knowing situations. But raw reaction speed is something that is kind of a given. Mm -hmm. You can train it, but it won't really matter that much if your reaction speed naturally sucks. It's really hard for you to ever get a good reaction speed, which is one of the few things I feel are raw talent in a game like Smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Now, we see that Shuck actually has the lead, pushes Super Sammy off stage, keeps him in the corner with his wall space backer. Super Sammy getting back to center stage with that up smash. Yes, yeah, th those menacing uh, strings from Super Sammy are on the down low. Uh, up until this point in the second game. Yeah, and what we see again, Super Sammy with these quick punishes, understanding the situation, getting the power shield even, and then just punishing right away, reacting to the situation. Because mm -hmm. I think all of that is raw reaction speed. He's a very reaction heavy player, uh, as far as I can see. At the ledge right now, though, Chuck with this pressure on the ledge. Wow. Yeah, a lot more shurikens coming out, forcing Super Sammy into the corner and finally connecting that pair. Yeah, that pressure by Shuck, that ledge guarding right there, putting Super Semi back on the ledge over and over, not letting him go back to center stage, which is what Super Semi wants mm -hmm. when he's on the ledge. Center stage is one of the best, is the best position to be in. Having your opponent on the ledge means that they have less movement options to move around to make it hard for you to guess where they end up, so that you have an easier Ooh. time hitting them. 
Yeah, and Shook is making these reads right now. Yeah, he's putting all this pressure on the Super Semi. Yeah, look, his options. look at this man. 64 within seconds. Yep, and Super Sammy has a hard time getting back to center stage. Shuck is pretty much controlling most yeah. of the stage. So much space in his control right now. He's using the shurikens beautifully. Yep. You know, uh, varying on how much he charges it, so he keeps Super Sammy get guessing. And what we saw in the first game, you know, he went for these punishes on Super Sammy's options, missed a lot of these punishes, and got re-punished instead. But in this situation, he understands, like, I'm going to miss that punish. What I'm going to do instead is actually trying to predict the follow-up option that Super mm. Sammy is going to use. Like, for example, a roll or a small or a jump, whatever. Yeah. But it does seem that Super Sammy is slowly but surely catching up in this second game. Uh, because we do see uh, Shogun for a lot of air dodge reads into, those, uh, into the up smash. Not connecting just yet. I like what I saw from Chuck right there, just waiting for Super Sammy's landing, not overextending at all. He's playing way more defensive, way more pokes, small pokes, nothing too heavy. Knows that mm -hmm. if he actually mispunishes or whiffs something, that he will get punished for a hard one. And he's just poking Super Sammy out with his down tilt so well. Again, the down tilt, putting so much pressure. Again, the down and the, the four. Beautiful. There. The down tilt did so much work for him in that match uh, that was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, he, he, he found a way of, you know, confirming those small hits from jab into down tilt into, into the fair. Yep. So the adaptation has to come for su from Super Semi right now. Yeah, Can interesting. Can he find ways to play around the down tilt? So instead of, more like, a shield approaches, uh, ground approaches, more aerial-based approaches, yeah. which I didn't really see too much from Super Semi. Fair and enough. And at the same time, can Chuck then adapt to those different approaches that Super Sammy yeah, yeah, might yeah. take. But we s do see those, uh, you know, young superpowers coming <laughs> through from both players. I like seeing new <laughs> players, especially if they are like of a younger age, very enthusiastic yeah, yeah, about yeah. the game, you know. And these are both, you know, great guys. Yeah. Super positive, nice to have a chat with. Yeah, they are very positive about the game, have very strong mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them because a lot of players like to complain about Smash 4, but oh, yeah, these two yeah. are, you know, they're... <laughs> I like how they, they, they keep their uh, they, they keep a healthy mindset. You know what I think? If you have played a different Smash game, it's way easier for you to compare the new game that you play to watch the older one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And if it's your first experience with competitive gaming, yeah. you don't have that comparison. Yeah, again. and you get mad about, yeah, my main used to be able to do this, now he can't anymore. <laughs> yeah, or this mechanic was way better. Yeah, this mechanic. <laughs> but when, you, when Smash 4 is your first Smash game, you don't have that, you know, that backlog of, of basically pain. No, you don't. You don't have the other material, the comparable. Yeah, 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 exactly. And we see that right, Chuck again in the lead. So right now we see that Super Sammy doesn't have the adaptation yet. Goes for a grab. Chuck overextending a little bit there. Get going for a little bit too many hitboxes right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Super Sammy with the narrow, the aerial approach working out right here. So Chuck, of course, thought that he was going to approach on the ground. Gets the four smash in the face. Goes for the trump. But Chuck ready for that, goes to the side B. That was an option yeah, I yeah. didn't expect. Pressing a bit too much uh, buttons. I think that was a misinput though, the side B. Goes for the grab again. See, he thinks that Super Sammy is going to approach with shields because he has been doing that a lot in the set. And Super Sammy just taking a different approach, shielding in the defense though, and Chuck seeing through that, actually grabbing him for that. Mm -hmm. And again, Super Sammy on the last game is extremely even. Yeah, and that down throw from Greninja at these percents, uh, what you always want to do is DI out. Because yeah. if you DI in, that's a true combo into a fair for uh, Greninja. Keep that in mind. That risk with the up smash gets the four there. No kill though. But that risk with the up smash before. Almost getting punished with Mario's up smash right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's risky. Wow. And yo, air dodge is right into that shuriken. Almost fully charged. Gets carried off into the blast zone. Yep, and shot. Getting in there, doesn't want to overextend, so instead he chooses a defensive option instead of going for more pressure, which might lead to overextension again. Mm -hmm. And against Mario, that's something you don't want to do, because he does a lot of damage, has up smash, of course. Jumps away to not get into nasty positions, up smash in the face on the roll. I've noticed that Super Sammy isn't a super up smash, heavy spamming Mario. Do you nah, think that's, he doesn't spam it. Do you think that's uh, to, to the good of his play or uh, he should use it more? It's hard to say when something is actually good or bad. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by that is that against specific players, specific things work. So against Chuck, you don't want to do too much up smash because he's poking you out with that down tilt the entire time. Right. So running up smash is not going to work that well. Good point. Gets the okay. upper. Okay. A bit of a, a small shrink, two uppers in a row. 
it's Shuck with center stage right here, and he does want to keep that, gets the four there on the aerial approach right there. Yeah, every time we saw Shuck having center stage, it was massive damage. He tries to get the arrows right there, doesn't get it up till interrupting the grab punch from Super Semi. Another upper, will that be the stock? No, 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 not quite yet. Not quite yet. But stage control is on Shuck's side, the roll behind grab. Ooh. <laughs> Get dunked, man! Sometimes when I see his combos, I always wonder to myself, was that true or not? Because he <laughs> should have probably been able to air dodge. Well, that, that was his only option. If, if, if anything would have been possible, it yeah. would have been air dodge, but in that situation, I think that might have been true. That's so scary. It's if a, like kind of the, the, the eye dependable too. That's the scariest thing, Mario being able to true combo into a fair. Yeah, I mean, it's a thing, especially with Rage, but he also di it like a little bit. Yeah. So that's a hard thing. But this is a best of five, so we still have two more games. And yeah, and from the way they've been playing, I'm expecting a game five. Yeah, and FD is a very strong pick for Shuck because it allows him to play the keep away game more, play the poking game yeah. more. At the same time, though, landing on this stage, like I said before, it's really hard. And Mario being a pretty strong, mm -hmm. potent juggler. Um, oh, Indeed. Right yep, and Super Sammy going for the aerial approaches. Initially didn't connect, but then Chuck whiffed uh, the four tilt, I think, and then got punished. The Becker, and I see uh, the the score, of course, is actually two one in favor of Super oh, yeah, Semi. Oh yeah, it's, it's two one in favor of Super Semi. Uh, but what we just saw, the Becker, right? Chuck again going for the down tilt to cover these ground approaches, but Super Semi gets the Becker, goes for more aerial based approaches, kind of playing around his down tilt to a Chuck's turn to now adapt to what Super Sammy is changing in his gameplay with yeah. his more aerial-based approaches. Sometimes you have to make the uh, adaptation to something you predict the opponent is going yes. to do yeah. in reaction to you, so that's levels upon levels of mind games. Yeah, that, that's where it starts getting interesting. That's when Smash becomes amazing. Yeah. Yeah, th at that point is you're playing chess. Yep. Chess is also cool. <laughs> so, um... Gets the shuriken, that's at least a bit of damage. Needs to get out of the corner, goes for the aggressive dash attack, super suddenly ready for that shielding. Different option, goes for the jump, doesn't actually want to go into that position altogether. The four tilt. Ooh, the cape. And super semi going to jump, goes for the down tilt again, super semi power shielding that. Super semi playing around those down tilts from Perinja, way better, gets the dash attack. This time the aggressive option did work for him. Again, the dash attack. Picking the aggressive dash attack against Mario's landing right there. Yeah, beautiful pressure from Shuck. Gets the roll with the forward air. That was a conditioning. Wow. The cave came out too early, mm -hmm. thinking he wouldn't charge, but Shuck did. Because before he has been throwing it uncharged. Mm -hmm. So Super Semi was like, ah, he's going to do that again. Right. Nope. Switched up. Oh, that was smart. A B out of the jab. Wow, <laughs> to the flood. That's such a good move because it gives you so much stage control. Dash attack. Wow, that was an interesting option going for that shuriken. Again, the aerial approach is working out great for Super Semi. Shock has to find an answer to those. Oh, and this is a lot of damage on a festival like Greninja. What was that, like 50%? <laughs> I think more like 60. Goes for the <laughs> down tilt. Super Semi. Using his shield amazingly to cover the hitboxes from Greninja. Gets again the back there with the aerial approach. When the bouncing fireball catching Greninja off stage. Wow, this is, yeah, these percents are scary at this point. Yeah. Okay. And Shook's ledge game has been kind of a mix up between dragging your get up to aggressive mm -hmm. option and jumping over the opponent and just getting out of the situation. Now to get an up smash. That's yeah. It. That's it. Super Sammy Ooh. takes the set 3 to 1 against Shuck. Very well played by both players. We saw that Super Sammy started out very strong that first game. Shuck made the adaptation on that game plan.